Nano Machine, by Han Jung Weolia. Chapter 2, Machine Descended to My Body. Prince Chun had been attacked by masked men and was killed by a sword to the stomach. Or so he thought. The guard, Jang, ran as fast as he could with his movement skill to find Prince Chun. When he found the boy, the place was littered with dead bodies that were missing their upper torsos. Only one of the masked men's bodies was intact, but he had been killed with a dagger to his head. It's the dagger I gave to him. It was what Jang had given to Prince Chun on his 10th birthday. He didn't teach him a single dagger skill since he was made to swear an oath to not teach any martial arts to the boy until he joined the demonic academy, so it was astonishing that the prince had killed even one man. Oh, prince. Jang then found the prince slumped down on the ground. The ground was drenched with blood, hinting of doom. Please. If the prince to die here, he wouldn't be able to find the right words to apologize to the boy's mother. However, something was weird. Huh? He heard the boy's breathing. From the looks of his clothing, it was certain that the prince had been struck with a sword to his stomach, but his breathing seemed to be normal. Jang went up to him and picked up the clothes. Huh? There are no wounds. Prince Chun's stomach was clean of any wounds. It was weird since the ground nearby was full of Prince Chun's blood. Chapter 3, Machine Descended on My Body, Part 2. The boy's name was Chun Yowan. He was the member of the Chun family, the highest ranked family in the demonic cult. The Chun family was related to the great lord himself, and everyone considered them to be extremely powerful. However, contrary to people's speculations, they were just a part of the six main families that maintained the demonic cult. Chun Yun was the son of a female slave who worked at the lord's chamber and was not from the six families. Although he was the child of a slave, he was still part of the Chun family and he had the right to the throne. Nonetheless, he was not even close to having a chance at taking the throne. Then what made him fall in counter danger? The reason was with his mother, Lady Wa. The lord who did not like any of the six women from the six families fell in love with a mere slave. This made the other wives angry and spiteful. Moreover, their fury didn't just end there. Chun Yowan encountered multiple life threats throughout the 15 years of his life. He had no chance of succeeding the throne, but he was still wanted for his life due to the anger of the other wives. Since seven days ago, the assassination attempts increased greatly. It was because it was now time for him to join the demonic academy and that would test his right to succeed and earn the title to be the Lord's heir. If he joined the academy, he would learn martial arts and grow in power to have his own force. And the academy prohibited most outside entries, which would ensure his safety. That's why the assassination attempts happened so often. D did you save my life, God? Chun Yowan asked the voice in his head while he laid flat on the ground. The nano. Machine answered. If it is about the enemy who tried to kill you, no. But if you are talking about master's wound after going into self-healing mode, yes. W what is a self-healing? Yowan couldn't understand most of the words that the nano machine used. Nano machine realized that they couldn't communicate like this. Sending basic information to master's brain. Huh? Nano Machine understood that it needed to find the right words for its master to understand. Searching for the right words for the era and culture. Nano Machine began searching through words and terms so that Chen Yowan could understand. After a while, Nano Machine finished selecting the words to communicate. Master, I am not the evil god that you speak of. Chen Yowan became surprised at the sudden change of tone, although it still sounded mechanical. What? Then who are you? I am trying to send you the basic information and manual about me to your brain. Will you accept? Nano Machine thought it would be easy to send the information instead of talking about it and Chun Yowan nodded without knowing what it was actually. Then, a video flashed in his brain at once. His eyes shook rapidly as he looked through multiple video images and soon he felt dizzy. He bent over and kneeled down to the ground to vomit. Ugh! It is a natural reaction after receiving information through your brain. You will not feel dizzy the second time around. Chun Yowan recovered from the dizziness and got up. What is going on? It was hard to believe. He had not seen or been taught anything, but he now knew about the machine created with highly advanced technology installed in his brain. Nano machine? Yes, master. Is it true that thousands of machines are now embedded in my body? That is correct. 6 billion, 482 million, and 40,000 nano machines have now been placed into your body. Chun Yowan didn't feel good about having something weird in his body, but he now realized what he was dealing with was not a human nor a god, but a machine. He felt relaxed by the fact and asked, if I want, can you get out of my body? 
As you saw through the information that was sent, I am programmed to only be extracted outside the body in case you die. Therefore, the machine was bound stay until Yowen died. He couldn't understand why this had happened. Who put you into my... That's when someone knocked on the door to his room. Prince. Dr. Beck is here. It was Jang's voice. Yowen wasn't sure about how he should explain the fact that he was talking with a machine, so he stuttered, S stay quiet for a while. I can read your thoughts to communicate, master. I get it. Just be quiet. Going into silent mode. Yowen got back on the bed and laid down with the blanket over his body. The door opened and a middle-aged man, Jang, and an old man with long white hair came in. The prince seems to be asleep so we will, huh? Prince? Jang found Yowen looking at him from the bed and quickly ran up to him. Are you okay PR Ugh? He then placed his hand over his nose because of the terrible stench coming from the prince. What's going on? Yowen forgot what happened to his body because he had been talking to the nano machine. The black ooze that came out of his body was too terrible to smell. Hmm? Dr. Beck then walked up with an interested look on his face. He was the designated doctor for the Lord of the Demonic Cult, and was nicknamed Demon Doctor in the cult. Prince Chun, we know each other, don't we? Of course, doctor. There wasn't anyone in the cult that didn't know about the doctor. Also, Yoan had met him when his mother was sick. Give me your hand. Let me feel your pulse. T that's. His hand was sticky from the ooze so it was embarrassing to show it to him. The doctor said it was okay he reached out so that Yoan could give him his hand. The doctor checked his pulse for a while and opened his eyes in astonishment. This is very interesting. What is it? Dr. Beck, did something happen to the prince? Jang asked with a frown, but the doctor shook his head and smiled, no. This is very good actually. What are you talking about? The entire body has been cleansed of any dirty substances and his energy flow has been activated. Did he consume a special kind of medicine or something? Yoan was confused. You now have the perfect body to train in martial arts. What? Yoan then understood what the doctor said and became shocked. The black ooze that came out from his body was actually the dirty substances stuck inside his body. What was better was that his energy was now flowing, so he could now learn how to use his internal energy. Hey, nano machine. Did you do this? Deactivating silence mode? Yeah. Deactivated. Yes, master. The nanomachines have extracted the unnecessary substances from your body and have reshaped the blood, muscles, and joints to best fit your body shape. Wow. Yoan assumed that it was probably because of the nano machine, but it was even more shocking to hear it from the nano machine itself. Are you really not a Masin, evil god? I am a machine, not Masin, master. The nano machine answered with its mechanical voice. Chapter 4, Why Memorize a Book? Part 1. Chion Yowen was a boy, but he was not a fool. He had overcome many hardships and assassination attempts that made him stronger and smarter. He knew the importance of a weapon if he had one, and also knew he had to keep it a secret if he were to keep himself alive. I have to keep it secret that I have nano machine in me. Chion Yowen wasn't aware of it, but there was no way that the medical knowledge of this era would be able to find the nano machine. However, Yoan did not know this, so he didn't feel good about letting Dr. Beck know as he was from one of the six families, Doc Majong. I hope he doesn't catch on. He tried to hide it, but he became nervous. He was forbidden from learning any kind of martial arts before joining the academy. HM, he did get help from someone. That's certain. The doctor was curious because of the change that had happened to the boy. He thought the boy would be pushed down the ranks with his weak body and no knowledge of martial arts. However, his state now proved that he was fit to learn martial arts better than any of the other princes from the other families. Nonetheless, he still was in a bad place to aim for the succession. The other princes already had started learning martial arts and had their own forces. He wasn't all that uninterested after all, it seems. The doctor assumed that the reason for this change was due to the Lord, Chen Yuzhong. He is his son after all. If the Lord had helped secretly, there was no need for him to acknowledge it. The doctor just wrote a prescription for some medicine to help Yoan regain his energy and returned. Prince. Jang. Yoan hadn't even thanked his guard yet. Nano machine healed him, but if Jang didn't come in time, who knew what would have happened next? Thank you for bringing me back to. Before Yoan can finish, Jang coldly said, I'm sorry, Prince. You must wash up first. Right. It smelled terrible. The doctor called a slave to clean the bed and make preparations so that Yoan could wash up. While bathing in a hot bathtub, Yoan was filled with a strange sensation. Does the world want to change my fate? 
His fate had already been decided the moment he was born to a female slave. All that was left for his life was to survive without being killed. Hey, Nano Machine. Yes, Master. He had not talked to the Nano Machine for about an hour now. Nano Machine did not speak if he did not ask. You said you recovered me from my wound. How far can you do it? I can recover external or internal wounds quickly. But the loss of blood or a body part will require cell replication which will require a longer time period. Oh oh. I see. The nano machine had given him a lot of information, but it was still hard to understand. At least it was certain that he could recover from most wounds unless he lost a body part or too much blood. Should I test it? I would not recommend hurting yourself, but if you want to try, I suggest testing it first with a small cut. Yoan then grabbed the dagger placed on his pile of clothing and cut his palm. Ouch! The pain made him frown. Activating self-healing mode on the left palm. With the voice, the blood stopped flowing from his palm and soon the wound disappeared as if it hadn't been there at all. It's hard to believe, but it works. There was more that was hard to believe, which included the usage of the nano machine. Can I really use all the powers that I was given the knowledge of? Yes, master. You can use every power of the nano machine as shown in the instructions. Good. I'll test it out after my bath. Yes, master. Yoan then got out of the water and clenched his two fists. If he could utilize the power of the nano machine, he could rise up in power and get revenge on his enemies. At the south castle of the demonic cult was the house of Bakumjong. And next to its main building was a chamber for the heir candidate. In the front yard of the chamber, there was a teenage boy with freckles and a masked man kneeling down in front. It's funny. Do you think it even makes sense? The boy seemed to be very angry and he shouted angrily. The masked man couldn't even answer to quell his anger. I sent you all to kill one weak boy and five were killed instead? Prince Mukiam, I think some warrior helped him. How dare you call my name? I am sorry, Prince Chun. Chun Mukiam was third in rank in succeeding the throne. He had sent assassins from his own Bakmajong family to kill Chun Yeowon before he could join the academy, but it had failed. I thought he had nothing to help him, but it seems he had something up his sleeve then. It was unexpected. They made Yeowon's guards stay away from him and attack the prince, but they had failed. It meant that someone else was also protecting him. Did father do something for him? That's what he had in his mind, but he couldn't say anything about the lord either. The lord of demonic cult was the divine being. Oh well. I'll take more chances after joining the academy. There was no protection given inside academy, as each of the princes who had guards appointed by the lord himself weren't allowed to follow. I didn't want to do it myself, but I guess I have no choice. Chapter 5, Why Memorize a Book? Part 2. The Demonic Cult, Located in the Ten Thousand Mountains. The cult had many families and clans, but it was mainly comprised of six clans, Wise, Sword, Loyal, Blade, Poison, and Lust clans. These six clans each had someone who could become the Lord. As per the oath, the Lord needed to marry women from all six clans and make babies who would all live with their mother's clans. The six sons would then join the demonic academy held once every ten years to be trained. The academy was created to train the finest warriors of each generation, at least that's what it was known for officially. However, the academy was filled with the fiercest competition whenever the multiple princes or candidates to succeed the Lord joined. Inside the academy, the princes trained and made connections with other families and clans to increase their power. After claiming victory within the academy, he will become the heir to the throne. Yoan got out of the bath and looked at his body through the mirror as he dried himself off. His body was originally scrawny and weak, but now it was muscular and well-toned. Nano machine. How is this possible? I have reconstructed your body, master. Reconstruct? Creating something from nothing is hard but reshaping your body and muscles is not as hard. Your speaking is so complicated. He had not learned martial arts yet, but he did not slack off in his studies. However, whatever words the nano machine used were those that he had not learned from any of his education sessions. Yoan put his clothes back on and went to his office. Your name is too long. Is there any other name I can call you with? You can set any name you'd like, Master. H.M. I can't think of any, so I'll just call you Nano registering nano dash i just gave you a name how about you say thank you yoan joked about it but there was no way a machine could understand a joke thank you master yeah the nano machine was a machine and yoan was now getting used to it his office did not have many books most of them were related to his studies and there weren't any books about martial arts 
All he had were basic books about gaining internal energy and that helped him very little. Bastards. This was the work of all the ladies from the six clans. It was those ladies who secretly poisoned his mother and made Yowen swear an oath that he would not learn any martial arts until he joined the academy in front of his dying mother. That's why Yowen could only study this basic internal energy book. Even this was only possible because the Lord himself had sent it to him secretly. If he didn't even learn this, his muscle and veins would have hardened, making it impossible to learn any martial arts even after joining the academy. The six clans knew that the training would not make any differences so they did not care. Let's try it. Yowen took out a book from the shelves. It was a book about blood flow. What do I need to do? Look right into the book and go through each page until you reach the last one. Just flip through the pages? Yes. Please start. Yowen was not convinced, but he started flipping through pages. He then quickly reached the last page. He did not realize it, but his focus was shaking rapidly. I did it. Scan the book Blood Passage. Attempting to send the information to the user's brain. Will you accept? Scan? Oh, you mean you copied what it means? Yes, master. Will you accept? I accept. And the feeling that he felt when he received the nano machine's manual came back to him. His head felt as if a jolt of lightning had struck him and the information swept into his brain. Yoan felt slightly dizzy and he held onto the bookshelf. It was much better than before, but he still felt like everything was spinning around him. Transfer complete. Ha, ha, you will get used to it, master. Are you worried about me? I am just stating the fact. And as Nano said, the dizziness quickly disappeared. Is this over? Yes, master. As you did with the manual, you can think about the related information to bring it up. Yoan then thought about blood flow, and information about the book that he hadn't even read came up to him naturally. What, wow. It was hard to believe, but he had just crammed the entire book into his head without even reading it. He fully understood what it meant. There was an error in the book that was corrected before it was transferred. Error? What error? Information about the blood points were wrong, so it was amended. The nano machine that was created in the distant future had embedded more precise information while scanning the book. This is crazy. Yoan thought this was amazing. He had to study and memorize books until now, but with this method, he didn't need to spend time on that anymore. I can just cram everything in. Yoan smiled excitedly. He didn't have that many books in his office, but it was going to be different once he entered the academy. Let's quickly grow stronger than everyone else and survive after joining the academy. That's the goal. He couldn't fight the war for the throne just yet. He needed to focus on surviving for now. Little did Chun Yowen know that the power of the nano machine was not only limited to its information transfer.